I was saying the other day that only through suffering will we discover our true potential. And someone wrote me, man, it scares me when you say that. Pussy, pussy, why, why? When we're closest to death is when we feel alive. When we push ourselves in that set further than we could ever push ourselves. When we're actually starving is when we fight. All you motherfuckers are so comfortable, it's gonna take your fucking life. This anxiety, this depression, it's nothing more than a notification. It's a notification for self-preservation. If you continue to sit there and be too comfortable and seek all this pleasure, you will do yourself in. So you're getting this notification to move, to go fucking intensely exercise. Has anyone ever fucking stopped in the middle of a marathon and said, wait, I think I'm having anxiety right now. It's never happened. How do you know this, Wes? What book did you read this in? The book of life, motherfucker. I was stuck in a cell by myself in the worst of situations. And every day I was able to gain that positive mental attitude, raise my rate of vibration and still send love from my heart to everybody around the world. When I was in the worst of situations and here these bitches are doing themselves in with too much consumption of pleasure and too much fucking comfort and they can't do any of that. You're being punished, motherfucker. You can't live like that. You can't just take, take, take. Depression is, is a selfish person's disease. Literally, listen to a depressed person's self-talk and it's, I don't feel good. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, uh, what should I do? It's all about them. If you played it on a megaphone, you would just be like, damn, dude, is everything about you? This is the facts. You want to cure that? Wake up today and think, how can I best serve everybody today? And then get to creating the best version of you so that you can serve everyone best. That's what I'm doing here. I'm literally giving up all these fucking desires that most people fall victim to, to create the best possible product to show people how to live the best life. And guess what? It's working. Ask someone why they don't want to quit drinking. Guarantee it's, I don't want to. Ask someone why they don't want to quit eating all that pizza and donuts and fucking Twinkies. Oh, I like it. It's my only pleasure. They're like, just keep asking them about their vices and see what the answer is. It's never anything about anybody else. It's what they want to do. Give up everything that you think you want to do. Realize none of this is about you. And it's about being a solid role model to help everybody around you cure their pain and live the best life. As soon as you understand this, you understand everything and you'll be well on your path to enlightenment. Anxiety. Just cross out anxiety and call it energy. They've been lying to you forever. False definitions will be the death of you guys. You got fucking energy. Next time you have anxiety, get up and do 200 burpees and tell me if at 1.30 it still exists. Tell me, tell me, share that with me. Because I lived a fucked up life for a long time where going in the future was an obvious source of pain because you weren't getting out for 10 years. And guess what? Never had anxiety once. Never even heard people talk about it. Because whenever we were going into pain, we just knew to get up and smash a workout, smash some push-ups, smash some burpees, create the person that was strong enough to overtake that bullshit. It's just energy, homeboy. Human's optimal state is the state of flow, flow state, inner peace, contentment. Inner peace is the only defined as not knowing time as it passes by. Flow state is when you're in the middle of that workout and you don't even know. You don't even know what time it is. You don't even care. You don't have anywhere to be. That's how we're supposed to exist. That's where we're most powerful. To learn to harness that state of flow is what you need to know. I jump from flow state to flow state to flow state to flow state. I'm in calls on my Zoom calls with my coaching client. I'm in flow state. I'm working out. I'm in flow state. I'm creating this video flow state. If I wasn't in flow state, you see me blinking, looking around, doing weird ass shit. I'm completely tapped in. Learn this and you'll learn what complete focus is and how you smash your goals very very quickly and flow state is something that's habitually constructed over time by not running into your busy schedule learning to create wake up look in the fucking mirror listen to the call of your conscience and take those steps to remove everything in your life that you regret your conscience is going to call you to do something today do it don't even fucking hesitate conscience never lied to you the regret in the back of your mind from how many fucking snacks you ate and how much you drink it's got to go now, once you start your workout, which you know your conscience is calling you to do, make sure you magnify that self-talk. Quit complaining about something that will save and enhance your life. That's the most foolish aspect and the most foolish thing we do. 
You're in control of this. Your self-talk and your actions are what's going to dictate your strengths and weaknesses. Build strengths in the habits that will suit the outcome you desire. Let's go. Love you guys.